All right, ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to Danganronpa V3. Last time around, we ended on a cliffhanger. We're in the final class trial, the finale of the game. And sadly, I hate to say sadly, we found out the big twist is that Junko and Ashima, the same person who was behind both Danganronpa 1 and 2, once again for a third game in a freaking row, is the antagonist of Danganronpa V3 that she had been impersonating Sumugi, or Sumugi was fake, there was never a real person. It was Junko in cosplay, essentially, all along. Now, one of the things that's interesting is that she's calling herself Junko Enoshima the 53rd, and I get the feeling that we're going to find out that this, she's a, basically some kind of a clone or something, because the original Junko is dead, Junko was an AI, that AI is now dead, so what could this possibly be? Oh, it's a clone now. It's like every game there's a new excuse for her to come back, next game she'll be an alien or something, right? But anyway, it is what it is, alright? Let's see where the game is going with this finale. I don't know if we'll beat it tonight. We've got two hours, maybe even a little extra we can go. But I don't know if we're going to beat it tonight. We'll find out. Let's jump right in. Okay, so first start with the event that inspired me to play in the killing game. Here we go. Get ready. That was about the time the meteorite impact started intensifying. Did she just start some big story on her own? Yes, she did. <laughs> She's going to tell the giant story now to us. I knew of Hope's Peak Academy's gopher project, and my inner Junko told me. Why is she talking like this all of a sudden? Crushing the gopher project, humanity's last hope, would be the perfect despair. <laughs> That's when I took over the killing game I devised. I forced those selected as humanity's last hope to play my killing game. Oh. And then I took the name Sumugi Shirogane and sneaked in among them. Okay. Did Kokichi know about this? Wasn't he a remnant of despair? No, he wasn't. We already know that. He was your comrade, right? No, he wasn't. <laughs> comrade? Junko Enoshima doesn't have comrades. <laughs> it's like, you don't need a remote after you've thrown out the TV, right? The remnants of despair are just a bunch of despair fanboys and fangirls. Ah, uh, there you go. I was going to say they're not working directly for her or anything. I didn't think so. It's like a, a cult-like following, but you didn't endorse it, right? <laughs> I am despair itself. She has like 10 personalities, doesn't she? I am a god of despair. Kokichi was just one of my believers. <laughs> What's all that shit flying behind her? I have no idea. When we were playing last time... That stuff was not flying behind her, but now it is, and it looks like it's a bunch of, like, outfits of various characters who actually look like characters who were in the previous games as well as this game. I don't know what's going on with that shit. I don't know if it's supposed to be there or not, because that looks like the hair from a character from a previous game. That looks like, um... Yeah, it looks like items from characters from other games. I don't know why they're here. <laughs> I have no idea what's going on unless there's, it's a spoiler in the game glitch. A god wouldn't be comrades with one of their believers, right? <laughs> then Kokichi didn't know your true identity either. <laughs> what a hopeless existence he led. To the end, he had no idea the object of his worship was right under his nose. I, I don't care about your story. Tell us about the people watching. Who's this killing game being shown to? Where are the survivors of humanity? <laughs> There's nobody watching. Huh? We were the last 16 people alive, you know. Who could be watching? Humanity is gone. Oh, yes, and of the last 16 people alive, one of them just happens to be a clone of Junko Enoshima. Oh, yeah, I really buy that one. No, yeah, right. Lying. If this isn't being shown to anyone, why care so much about rules? You're the one who keeps talking about making the game interesting. For whom? That was just a part of my perfect reproduction. No, she's fucking full of shit. Dude, again, there's more. Dude, this is totally like the outfits of other characters from the other games. Yeah. Seriously, I remember that's the that's from the girl, what's her name? Sakura from Dragon Rampa 1. That's the out the workout outfit from the girl in Danga Rampa 1. She always wore like the sports jacket. Yeah, it's all different characters from different Danga Rampa games. All their clothes and, and items are in the background. What is that supposed to be? Your Game volume's what? low, okay. I'll have the game volume a little bit. There you go, guys. Thanks for telling me. I just perfectly reproduced my own killing game is all. Just like the old Junko. The original was meant to be shown, so that's how I made mine. 
You just wanted to recreate the past killing. No. That's it. I call it bullshit. Carlton Jr. tipped me a dollar thirty. He says, uh, I can confirm it's not a game glitch. The closer there to illustrate she's the ultimate cosplayer, even though she's Junko among other things. Yeah, but when did the cosplayer that doesn't make sense because if she's the ultimate cosplayer, the, her character said she can't dress as real people. All those clothes are from people who are real. So if she ever cosplayed as any of those, she would have broken out with the cosplay, cosplayitis or whatever it was. I don't know. It, it doesn't matter. It's bullshit anyway. She made it all up. We, we know that it's all garbage. Yep, that's it. There are no survivors of humanity. Things are just as you recall. That is the truth of the Ultimate Academy killing game. No, she's a liar. No, that's wrong. <laughs> oh dear, I am so surprised. <laughs> Maybe we all remember that there's no one left out there. But how do we know our memories are real? That's right, because we found the evidence that they can manufacture fake memories. That's correct. What do you mean by that? You think your memories are wrong? There's something that's been bothering me about our memories. Here, look at this book. The Complete History of Hope's Peak Academy. This book contains years of research about Hope's Peak Academy. That is your feeling? Yes, I acknowledge people who are here and aren't con contributing. I hate to tell you. It's just that if someone's asking me a question, something directly, or something that has to do with the stream, I'll talk. If you're going to derail the stream and talk about stuff that has nothing to do with what I'm doing, then usually I, do, I ignore it. We have to try to make progress in this game tonight because they've been playing it for four and a half months. It would be nice to finish it at some point. All right. Cool. <clears throat> okay. Would I ever play Ultra Despair Girls? I have no idea. I don't know if I would play it or not at this point. Okay. Nothing would indicate this book is a prop. I believe the information here is accurate. But there's a lot written in here that differs from uh -huh. our lives. What is it that differs? What is different? Yeah, we don't know because they didn't, re you didn't let you read it. To know that for certain, I'll need everyone's help. Okay. Oh, look. I want uh, you all to tell me everything that you remember about Hope's Peak Academy. We just need to talk about what we remember from Hope's Peak? Okay. Um, so it started with the biggest, most awful, most tragic event in human history. That event originated at Hope's Peak Academy, inspiring wars and terrorism around the world. It would not be hyperbole to say that event brought despair to all mankind. Okay. And it was all caused by a single high school girl. So they're talking about the original, the first game, basically. <clears throat> Lousy Lobsters, thanks for the super chat. Uh, it's none of your freaking business, actually. How about that? <laughs> And it certainly has nothing to do with tonight's stream, so I'm not derailing it to answer you. You really are a lousy lobster. Wow. You really match your name. Awesome. Okay. Yeah, it was me. Junko Enoshima enrolled in Hope Speak Academy as the ultimate fashionista. But my real identity was the ultimate despair. In order to cover the world in despair, I put my plans... Wait a minute. Something doesn't add up here. Aha! Uh -huh. huh? I detect no discrepancy in my memory banks. Yes. Everything we just said is just like we remember it. Okay. But it doesn't match what's written in the history of Hope's Peak Academy. Okay. Are we learning something interesting here? Hmm. Oh, really? An anonymous dollar thirty tipper says, I've seen dozens of people play this game before. They've never had that weird glitch before. So the glitch gremlin just loves the glitch. The glitch gremlin loves me. It's funny we have two different people who each say that it's it is or isn't a glitch. So obviously no one can can uh, agree. I guess we'll just continue and see w what it means. Let's go. I'll determine exactly why later. For I need to identify the discrepancy. So you gotta play. Spot the difference. <laughs> Point out what everyone is mistaken about in their memories of Hope's Peak Academy. Okay. All right. Time to play some Dongon Rumpa Trivia! Now, what if you never played the first game? Are you completely screwed here? That's kind of messed up. What if you never played the first game? The okay. biggest, most awful, most tragic event in human history. That event originated at Hope's Peak Academy, inspiring war and terrorism around the world. The cause of all that despair was just a single high school girl. 
Ah! It's not a That's single wrong. high school girl. That's correct, it wasn't. It was her and her twin sister. One high school girl started the tragedy. The ultimate despair. Junko Enoshima. It was her and her sister that did it together. They were working together to do it. And in fact, wasn't there also an illusion that there was more than them too? But they were the ones obviously who were the direct antagonists, but wasn't there an illusion to the fact that someone had created the technology, the, the Monokuma technology or whatever? I can't remember because it's been so long since I played the first game, but I had a feeling that was it. I had a feeling that was the one right there. Okay. Well, Bob Dude to be $1.30 says, Minimal tip for a minimal stream. Don't dox me. You play Divinity and people want it. Well, Bob Dude, whose real name is Dan Johnson, it lives at 1234 Jones Lane in Hoboken, New Jersey. How would I dox you? What are you talking about? <laughs> How... <laughs> oh, you didn't expect me to pull that one out of my magic bag, did you? Anyway, Bob Dude, thank you for the $1.30 tip. Um... <laughs> uh, no, I'm not playing Divinity. No one wants it. Absolutely no one. So I'm not playing Divinity, but I thank you for the dollar tip regardless. <laughs> this is the craziest thing. Don't dox me, man. How am I going to dox you? I'm staring at a screen that has the name you just gave as you tipped through fucking stream elements. How exactly would I do that? <laughs> out of your mind. Some people are out of their fucking mind. Seriously. Yes. That was totally legit information that I pulled from my intricate web of of surveillance over the globe. Whenever someone sends me a tip on stream, my micro machines fly to your house. The microscopic drones zoom into your, your yard and they look through your windows in your bathroom when you're taking a dump. Oh yes, I dox you now. What are you talking about? <laughs> People are crazy, man. People are seriously nuts. Okay. Let's continue. Let's finish this up. I just don't understand this nonsense. All right, here we go. Now, one high school girl started the tragedy, the ultimate despair, Junko Enoshima. Okay. At least that's what I remember. But that's not what this book says. What does the book say? We don't know. Ultimate despair doesn't just refer to Junko Enoshima. Okay. It refers to a group and the movement that came after. That's right. Because remember, it wasn't just her. There was a whole group, and that's how you people just mentioned that game, Ultimate Despair Girls. Is supposed to be a group of girls that are doing it together, and she's one of them, I guess, right? To put it simply, there's more to Ultimate Despair than Junko Inoshima. This is the first time I've heard about this. Wasn't Junko the Ultimate Despair? That's what I recall as well. That label should only apply to her. Hmm. Coincidences sure are scary. Everyone misremembered the same thing. Yeah, what a coincidence. Coincidence? Misremembered. <laughs> Hello, Miss Cookie Man. Good evening. It's no coincidence. I know there's a difference in the memories. And that's not all. There are other discrepancies I'd like to point out. Okay. Ugh, does it even matter? I'm bored already. Yeah, of course, because she wants to divert from the truth. Just shut up. So, let's continue where we left off. Junko resorted to different tactics to cover the world with despair. The killing game between the 78th class of Hope's Peak Academy, for example. All right, this is the first game. The first plot of Danganronpa 1. See, that's the Sakura, who's the, the crazy roided martial artist in the upper right. The serial killer, uh, what's her name? Uh, something, something Jill is up in the upper right-hand corner. I don't remember all the characters. I remember some of them. Not all of them. Okay. They were locked up and forced into the killing game by the ultimate despair. Genocide Jill. That was her name. Genocide Jill. But who? who? <clears throat> when I, the one who started it all, died, events were set in motion. And the world began to move towards restoration. <laughs> Then the fight between the future foundation and the remnants of despair raged on! Shout out to Vanessa who tipped me $2 and I'm glad I'm able to watch your last Danganronpa stream on my birthday. Well, happy birthday, Vanessa. I hope you're having a good day. Thank you for the contribution. I appreciate the support. I don't know if this will be the last stream. I'm trying, but I don't know if we're going to finish it tonight. We may have to do one more, like, mini session. We'll see. But let's keep going. The worst case scenario was avoided! Yay! A happy ending. <laughs> Not yet, there are more points that conflict with the history. I'll point those out next. 
All right, here we go. All right. The biggest, most awful, most tragic event in human history happened because Jinko had prepared countless ways of spreading despair. Like the killing game of the 78th class of Hope's Peak Academy. They were held prisoner by the ultimate despair and forced into the killing game. Oh, I have oh they weren't held prisoner that. by the ultimate despair. The they were not. The that my death set in motion are only now reaching their climax. So the remnants of despair in the future foundation are still fighting. But for now, we've avoided the worst of it. They were not held captive by the remnants of uh, by the ultimate despair. They were held captive by Monokuma, who they didn't know had anything to do with any kind of ultimate despair. They didn't know that Monokuma had anything to do with Junko at the time. So actually, this is I, I would say that would be the wrong thing. The biggest I could I could be wrong, or it could be the thing at the end with the future foundation too. It could be one or the other. We'll like find the out. game of the 78th class of Hope's Peak Academy. They were held prisoner by the ultimate despair. That wasn't it. And forced into the Oh, it didn't work. Oh, never mind. It bounced off the oh, other word. I, I didn't do that faster. The events that my death could imagine could only now reach the climax. So the remnants of despair foundation are still fighting. What? Wow, I missed both. But for now, we've avoided the I legitimately missed both, so I don't know if either one was right. <laughs> I legitimately missed both. The biggest, most awful, most tragic. Okay, let's try again. Game of the held prisoner by the old. Come on! I missed again. How am I missing that? Oh, I have some bad news about that. This is crazy. The events that my death set in motion are only now reaching their climax. So the remnants of foundation are still fighting. That wasn't it. Okay. I was wrong. It was the other thing. See, I, I can't believe I missed it like three times. I missed the aim. Turtle dude, what's going on, man? Uh, you, if you missed on Microsoft Play Sim, check it out. Obviously on DS Beginning on Demand. It went well. I mean, the first hour was kind of boring. I was just learning the controls. But once we started flying over stuff, it was actually good. Dude, I again? Forced into the killing game. Dude, they made it so hard to hit. Are you kidding me? That's gotta be the right one because you see how hard it is to hit. Oh my god. They were held prisoner by the Thank you. Holy shit. I had it right the first time. I just never hit it. Okay. Holy crap, man. Did you feeling if you fucking complain one more time about something that's not happening, I'm banning you. I've had enough of your bitchy bullshit. Shut up and stop derailing my stream. I don't even know who you are. You're a brand newcomer. You're sitting here bitching all night. Fuck off. Okay. Holy crap. Here we go. It wasn't the, I was right. It wasn't the ultimate despair that trapped them. It was the class themselves. They shut themselves in. Oh, I don't remember that. Shut themselves in? They did? Why would they shut themselves in? It has to do with the Hope's Peak Academy shelter project. Uh, I don't remember that part. During the tragedy, the 78th class... Hello, Darkness. Good evening. ...trapped themselves inside Hope's Peak Academy for protection. Why don't I remember that? I thought that they were kidnapped and thrown into the killing game. I don't remember them throwing themselves in there for protection in the first game. So our memory of the 78th class being trapped by the ultimate despair... Are you saying our memories are wrong? It just means those documents were written all half-assed. Nah. There's no need to worry about it. Your memories are all correct. Hmm. Shout out to Wario2255, who took me $1.30 asking, will I ever play Devil May Cry 2? And the Great Ace Attorney Dual Pack came out. Will I play that? I have Devil May Cry 2. It's part of the Devil May Cry HD collection that came out for PS3 many years ago, but I only played 1 and 3 because people only asked me to play 1 and 3 and said I should skip 2 because everyone said the 2 was terrible and everyone hated the game and it was a really like a black sheep of the game series and I didn't play because it's a waste of everyone's time and I would hate it anyway. So if people actually wanted to see me play it and they asked me to do it, I would probably do it because I do own it, but at this point I don't see any reason to play it when people say it's the worst game in the series. Now as for the Great Ace Attorney Duo Pack, there's absolutely no way that I'm playing it anytime soon because I'm playing Danganronpa V3 which has taken me four and a half months to beat and I'm still not beating it because I'm talking to you instead. Thanks for the tip. Let's continue. What you've been saying isn't consistent. <laughs> First you said it was just coincidence. Woo! Mm. Huh. Is that so? 
Let's just move on. I want to talk about one more thing from our memories. It's about the rebuilt Hope's Peak Academy that we were attending. What about Hope's Peak Academy? Okay. There's no doubt that the 16 of us were students at Hope's Peak Academy. We heard it had been rebuilt and was accepting applications for talented students again. Uh-huh. And so, we gathered at the brand new Hope's Peak Academy. Since Hope's Peak Academy was large, we were all in separate classes. But there's no doubt we were students of the new school. Hmm. Just like I thought there's something wrong there. Okay. Why? Why are our memories so different? Hmm. Okay. Hope's Peak Academy was rebuilt. And with that, recruitment of talented students resumed. When we found out, we came to the new Hope's Peak Academy. The new Hope's Peak Academy was a huge Nope, it wasn't a huge school. It was a, a project to save humanity. I Which missed it twice. We <laughs> but we're yeah. all the same. It's bullshit. That's it's right. all, it's complete we were nonsense. All students of Hope's Peak Academy. Hope's it wasn't a Academy huge school. Was it was a group of only 16 that were meant to save the, the world. Recruitment of talented students resumed. When we found out, we came to the new Hope's Peak Academy. The new Hope's Peak Academy. No, that's not it. What? No, what? What? Which is why we were all in it, it didn't hit it. But Dude, I seriously it? can't hit it. That's right. <laughs> we were all no, I can't hit. I can't hit these things Hope's tonight. What is this? Is the finale of the game? So they made it incredibly hard to hit them for some fucking weird reason. The new hit it. No, okay, that's not it. Wasn't the school large? It most certainly is. All right, so then it's the one that Junko said. Hope's peak academy was rebuilt, and with that, the treatment of talented students resumed. When we found out, we came to the new Hope's peak academy. The new Hope's peak academy was a huge school, which is why we were all in different classes. We were all students of Hope's Peak Academy. No. You're saying I'm wrong? Wasn't her either? Uh, so that was an idiot. What is it that we're wrong then? Hope's Peak huh. Academy was rebuilt. I'm going to just try everything. I actually don't know then. Recruitment of talented students. Recruitment of talented students? That was what was wrong. That's wrong. Okay. We remember Hope's Peak Academy taking applications from talented students. All right. Darkness says, I'm impressed at how clear your vocabulary is when you talk super fast. Not many people can do that. Yeah, for some odd reason, my brain can do that. It, like, it can process speech really quickly. But it's funny. It's, like, only when I'm really trying hard. Like, there's sometimes that I'm really not thinking and I'm casually talking and I'll completely say the wrong word. Like, I'll be saying, oh, man, what a delicious orange. And my wife will be like... You mean apples? We bought apples. I'll be like, oh yeah. Sometimes that happens. I'm not concentrating. But then when I concentrate, all of a sudden I can be like, bup, 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 and actually like say words real fast. And you know, my brain works at a million miles a minute. So it's kind of weird. It's like when my brain's on, it's on. When my brain is off, it's lazy as fuck. <laughs> it's like there's no in between. Okay. Maybe an NT says, well, maybe one day when this YouTube shit goes away, I can become an auctioneer. Yeah, maybe. Um, Mr. Minecraft, this one took me four dollars twenty cents. It says there's so many, there are so many I want to tell, but it would lead to spoilers. All right, then don't, don't. We're getting, dude. We're at the very end at this point. Do please do not spoil. Let's just get through this naturally, please. At this point, we're at the very tail end. I avoided spoilers. Let's do this. Okay, here we go. But that's not what's written here. Okay. The academy did not take applications. All of their students were scouted. Okay. Scouted? I've never heard that. I wasn't scouted. I applied to Hope's Peak Academy on my own. Jeez, are they all have fake memories. They were all manufactured by those stupid flashlights. Yeah, Darkness, remember the fast-talking guy in the 80s? Remember they knew, they called him as the Micro Machines guy? Because he used to do those Micro Machines ads real fast? <laughs> Me too. I chose to come to Hope's Peak. At least, that's what I remember. Yeah, but it's not true. Are you saying we're remembering it wrong? But what if this book's just wrong? Researchers make mistakes too! Maybe so, but 
I'm not getting all this from just the book. There is other evidence as well. Aha. Uh -huh. Other what? The killing game we're in now is one that began with hope. Oops, the hell did I just hit? What did I just do? Fuck. <laughs> How do I get out of this? Speak oh, okay. Academy. I hit B, or uh, circle. Phew. So this is the third game after Hope's Peak and Jabberwock That's Island. right, we do know that. But remember what Rantaro said? Oh, okay. Wait a minute. That's true. Rantaro said he had already been a survivor of another game, so this is actually the fourth or late later killing game. This is not the third. The truth is this isn't your first killing game. You're the ultimate survivor. You survived the last killing game. But Rantaro's name wasn't listed among the past participants of the game. So there's another game that happened that we don't even know about. Thank you, Mr. Minecraft. Just one for another tip. He's about to go down. Shit's going down all the shitters. <laughs> we're flushing all the toilets at once, man. All right, we're about to find out about other killing games that happened, apparently. Cool. Let's see what we learn. Would I play a Sherlock Holmes game? I probably would. There's been one or two of them, right? I didn't play them at the time, but if, if, the thing is, I love mysteries, thrillers, murder mysteries, investigations. I like that stuff. So I'd probably end up really liking those games, even if they're not very good. He was not present at the two killing games that Junko orchestrated. Okay, all right. Then, which killing game did Rantaro participate in? I'm not entirely sure, but... It's clearly inconsistent, isn't it? He's right. He's dead, dead on correct. The inconsistencies don't stop there. Kokichi's account is also suspect. Kokichi's account is inconsistent too? Oh, an inconsistency? Do tell. We remember Kokichi as a remnant of despair. But I don't think that's true. He wasn't a remnant of despair. I don't think so either. He wasn't a remnant of despair? What's that? Listen to this. Dragon's Rage Channeler to me at dollar thirty says, "Why is your face consider Islamic content on several gaming forums?" I have no idea what you just said, nor do I care. <laughs> I, what the hell is that supposed to mean? I don't know anything about what you're talking about, nor does it have anything to do with my stream tonight. So let's just move on and hope that this guy doesn't fucking say something weird again. Okay. <laughs> That's impossible. He was definitely a remnant of despair. The remnants of despair were the ones who tried to stop the Gopher Project. I'm basically, I'm pulling a Woody on this one. A Kingdom Hearts 3 Woody. I have no idea what you're talking about, and I don't care. All right. And Kokichi was their leader. If he was the one leading the remnants of despair... Then he must have been second only to the ultimate despair herself. Yes, he loved me more than anyone. Like an obsessed fan hiding in the bushes. Huh. So where's your proof he wasn't a remnant of despair? The proof that Kokiji isn't a remnant of despair. Oh, his motive video. I think it's I think it's his motive video. Or it could be the two mysterious messages, the fact that he tried to help you. It's one of the two, I would say. Let's start with the motive video and see if that works. This is it! Okay, good. The motive video we found in Kokichi's dorm room. Alright. I have no idea what a birdcage beard is, that itchy feeling. <laughs> Never heard of it. Okay, so he was the ultimate supreme leader who caused mayhem as the secret leader, or the the leader of the secret organization, Dice. All right. Mayhem, I mean, pretty petty, non-violent crimes, and harmless pranks. Kokiji and ten loyal goons working for him. These goons are like friends and family, the most important people in his life. An organization centered around petty crimes. One that forbids murder. Right. And in addition to that, the group was only ten people. That's far too few to be the same group that tried to sabotage the Gopher Project. Yeah. I mean, from the moment we saw that video, I knew his whole story about being part of the Remnants of Despair was a lie. 
meaning that whatever group Kokichi was a part of is not the remnants of despair. His motive video clearly contradicts our memories. The memory we have of Kokichi being a remnant has to be false. Aha. Uh -huh. He wasn't a remnant of despair? That's not possible. Watch the beard competitions, I was just told. Beard competitions. They have competitions for everything these days. They probably have a bread buttering competition. They probably have like um, a nose picking competition, don't they? Who gets the biggest one? Anyway, let's continue. <laughs> you can't tell I'm not interested. Come to think of it, we never actually heard it directly from him. But it's still not possible. Chief Wiggum now did a $5 super chat asking, why does he think that girls are attracted to guys on motorcycles? I wouldn't know, or would I, nor would I care. <laughs> what is going on? Where are you people coming from tonight? We never have this many random things happening during a Danganronpa stream. We have a, a, cons a, a concentrated group of people actively working together, concerted effort to try to say random shit tonight, I think. <laughs> All right, let's continue. <laughs> Kokichi didn't tell us because he wasn't exposed to that flashback light. And neither was Kaito. Huh. Junko? Hope? Despair? So he didn't know about it because Kaito they didn't. he didn't get the memory implanted the in him like everyone else. Despair, or Junko yeah. Inoshima. If they'd been exposed to it... Maybe we'd know the truth. I see. Maybe it's better that they weren't. I think the people who were affected by that flashback light were wrong. Hmm? What do you mean? All of these weird inconsistencies are from memories we got from the flashback lights. Yeah. Mr. Minecraft just won to me a dollar thirty. And uh he says, this is not spoilers, at the end of the Goodbye Despair. I don't know what that is, Goodbye Despair. The main character said no one would know what happened at the end of the second killing game. Is Goodbye Despair the, uh, the anime? Maybe it's the anime. Alright, let's continue. You're right, that's not a spoiler, that's something that happened before this game. Okay. So the flashback lights are the cause? <clears throat> you found the classroom that makes all the flashback lights. Right, Shuichi? Yes. And I noticed something strange about it. That you can make fake memories. Right, here it is. I actually did a little experimenting with a device hidden in the room. It allowed you to select the memory that a flashback light would recover. However, some of the memories were inconsistent with each other. One might say there are survivors, but another would say there are no survivors. Right. Bizarre, right? <laughs> the flashback lights allegedly help us recover our memories. We're supposed to remember the truth that we forgot, and there should only be one truth. But then, having the option to recover contradictory memories doesn't make sense. <laughs> then what are you saying? Huh? The flashback light isn't for recovering lost memories? Is that what you're saying? Yes, stupid. Then what was it for? <laughs> what was it for? Big memories. Huh? huh? Go on, tell them. What are the flashback lights for? Well, it says, what are they use? You can select different memories. What does it mean if those memories contradict each other? Put all pieces together, it'll make sense. We're able to see the real truth. Hey, man's gambit. Oh, I have no idea. N. A. I don't even know what letter that was. T. Fucking ass. L. Shitty dicks. I. It's an I. I don't know. Fuck. I what? L. Fuck. I am. Ooh, im, im. <laughs> Imagine. Fuck. 
Give me. Nee. Implants. Implants. And we're talking memory implants. Don't get the wrong idea, you perverts, perverts out there. I know people say the wrong thing to be disgusting. No. Stop that right now. Implant. There we go. Mr. Minecraft just went to me again. Another dolly says it's yes, goodbye to the first it. second game and he hates the, the end of the flashback game. Oh, man. This isn't supposed to help us remember anything. Right, it's supposed to implant fake memories. It's a tool for implanting false memories. No shit. Implanting memories? Yes. The memories you could select for the flashback lights weren't our real memories. They were memories to be implanted inside us. That's why the contents of those memories contradict each other. Once we're exposed to a flashback light, those memories become the truth to us. So the memories we recovered with the flashback lights were... not real. They were all false memories. Okay. They were all lies. Lies? Oh, what a <laughs> horrible truth. <laughs> the memories from the flashback lights are lies. Then everything was a lie. All the suspense and foreshadowing was for nothing. <laughs> Can you believe it? It's like everything that happened didn't matter at all. That's right. Which means... If you think about it, everything up to this point in the game could be fake. Even I even suspect that the whole remember they opened the door and it showed an apocalyptic world out there. I think that was fake too. I think that's fake. It's a set. It's like a movie set to make them think something that wasn't true. I don't think that the world out there is real and destroyed at all. I think that it's all bullshit. Uh, an, an anonymous tipper says a little mini games you play like Cayman's Gambit are acceptable. In the first two games, because those were PSP games made by a really small studio, but it's disappointing they did little to improve them in the first major console Dangarampa release. Wasn't this also on a handheld as well? I thought it actually was. Now, from what I'm to understand, they are going to release this trilogy with an extra bonus game that's basically not a murder mystery at all, but it's supposed to be like, oh, the, the Dangarampa kids go to the beach or something. And that's supposed to be releasing in like a few months on the Switch. Now, the Switch is a handheld, right? I hear what you're saying, like... For me, the reason I feel like those minigames are in there is simply to have the element of gameplay. Because think about it. If you didn't have those, the only gameplay in the game would be clicking around during investigations and picking the correct dialogue options during trials. Like, that's it. There'd be nothing else to the game at all. So I figured the mini games were to add some gameplay variety and act like you're actually playing an interactive game when in reality, you're really not. It's kind of just taking you along for a, a ride that's not going to change. You know what I'm saying? Okay. Here we go. Well, that is what it means. <laughs> huh? Huh? Flies are just like snowballs. The more you roll them, the bigger they get. Mm. The bigger what? they are, <laughs> the more fun and shocking it is when they're revealed. That's why everything up till now has been lies. That's the truth. The truth is the lies. Lies from the flashback lights <laughs> were just lies? It's just as Shuichi said. Lights are not for recovering lost memories. They're tools for implanting new ones. Mm -hmm. The light they emit is actually information that has been converted to light waves. That light is beamed directly into the brain, causing a deja vu sort of phenomenon. The brain gets confused and thinks the info it just received happened in the past. This is all plausible. <laughs> we were just confused. For example, your memories of being students of Hope's Peak Academy. Yeah, Fehu Fonder says uh, it's fucked up because that means Gunta died for nothing. Yeah, he thought that he, he seen the outside world was apocalyptic and it really wasn't, and he, you know, basically died for that for no reason, right? And he also killed uh, what's his name for nothing too, right? Who died? Uh, what's her name? Mew. He killed her for nothing too. Hey. <laughs> don't have anything to do with Hope Speak Academy. Ha <laughs> ha. None of us were ever students there. It was just a fake memory. We're, we're not, not students, students from Hope Speak. Oh. Peak? <laughs> Why did I start reading that? Yep. 
That was all fake. Nice. Looking back, it was a mistake to have you remember Hope's Peak. I didn't originally plan on giving you those memories, but... I was in a rush and overlooked all those inconsistencies, so you figured it all out. Hmm. <laughs> it's hopelessly the worst! So that's why Kokichi had to die? Good job, Mr. Detective. You got it. The only reason we thought Kokichi was a remnant was because of the flashback lights. But he did say that he was the leader of a cult organization. That was a lie he invented himself. He wanted to be the mastermind. He wanted us to believe it. That's why he lied. Anyway, I got a confess. You know that quote I mentioned earlier? The leader is me. Huh? Which means the mastermind who stuck Monokuma into the Ark is... Me! <laughs> Mr. Minecraft just went to me $10. The first anime of Danganronpa is about the first game. The second anime explained the tragedy and the ultimate despair. The third anime will continue... Or continues after the second game and the end of Danganronpa. It, it, right, doesn't it supposed to, like... Have, like, an ongoing plot where it builds the two together or something? That's what people said, but... I, I never saw it. Okay. He usurped the Mastermind's role. But in doing so, became a thorn in their side. So to get rid of that hindrance, the Mastermind played along with a lie. The Mastermind manipulated us into thinking Kokichi was a remnant of despair. At the same time, having everyone remember Hope's Peak Academy... ...made you guys target him because you thought he was a remnant of despair! Hmm. You were using the flashback lights to control us? And the reason I tried to kill Kokichi was... You were being controlled by false memories, like yep. putty in the mastermind's hands. Kokichi was, was actually kind of innocent. Although, admittedly, Kokichi did manipulate Gonta into doing some messed up stuff over the course of the game. Twice he actually manipulated Gonta, and that was actively his choice to do so. So he still wasn't a good guy, but at the same time, he definitely wasn't part of the Remnants of Despair or anything. But Maki <clears throat> wasn't the only one being controlled. You all were! Remember when Kokichi revealed the truth of the outside oh, world? Oh, here we go, here we go. You all got so depressed, you couldn't even focus on the killing game! Wait, then, to make us recover from that, you... Yep, we gave you memories of being Hope's Peak Academy students, the symbol of hope. So you all could face despair. You controlled us with that big memory? Well, it wasn't just that memory. It was all of them up till now. New mysteries and truths turn to motivation. Motivation drives a story. Everything from the flashback lights was just motivation to move you forward. But I guess it was fake motivation. You idiots kept getting jerked around by meaningless lies. This class trial was like that too, wasn't it? Why was it you were so motivated to do it? Hmm. Because you got a memory from one of the flashback lights, right? Was that also a memory you used to control us? Hey, what was it you guys remembered from it again? At first, you ran away from the Gopher Project. Humanity's last hope. Oh, right. This, I forgot about this scene. But then, you bravely chose to accept your fate. You took on all the wishes of your friends and family. Right, this weird scene that came out of nowhere. And now, you remember how you got here. Ah, so it was all fake. It was all fake. You remembered that you had all been entrusted with the world's hope, right? Remembering the weight of that hope should have made you feel stronger. I have to escape. I'll never give up. I won't be defeated by the mastermind. Even though Kaito and Kokichi were gone, and Kibo started to go berserk, you guys didn't give up hope. You decided to face this killing game, right? So even that was orchestrated, apparently, by, by them. It was you were purpose. controlling our emotions? Even our resolve to defeat the mastermind? 
This is a killing game. A death game where emotions run like blood. If the participants aren't trying their best to live, it's just not very exciting. Oh, the memories were fake. And what was everything till now? Hmm. That memory and that memory. And that memory 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 and that. If they were all big memories, then. Hmm. Where are we? Why are we in this killing game? Yeah, who knows? My plans for mankind's last killing game kind of just fell apart. So figure out why on your own. This is a class trial, after all. Then, who are you? <laughs> Let's get answers. I don't know who you are. What's not to understand? I became me. What about that don't you get? If this killing game is connected to Hope's Peak Academy, then I believe you. This is certainly the work of someone carrying on Junko Inoshima's will. But we have nothing to do with Hope's Peak, so you can't be Junko. Huh. So who the hell are you? Right. A clone. Me, no one else. The now it's Hajime Hinata. Yes, right. Yes, of course. What? What is this? Huh? You know him, don't you? He was in the Jabberwock Island killing game. I'm Hajime Hinata. But that's not what we mean. <laughs> what are you doing? What is going on? What am I doing? I'm just cosplaying. Cosplaying? Yeah, this is just cosplay. Oh my god. But it's not just normal cosplay, because I can perfectly replicate the character. What is she, the fucking T-1000? It is, she's like the T-1000 for fucking uh, Terminator 2. She can change it to any shape. Check it out. Even my voice sounds exactly the same. Oh my god, Kazuchi Soda. He was from the second game, right? The mechanic. Is Junko mechanic. also? Yes, it's my cosplay. I can perfectly reproduce a number of characters and actually become them. So you see, now is when that was supposed to show up behind her. That shit that was rotating before wasn't supposed to show up till right now, and it glitched out and showed up like 40 minutes early. <laughs> oh my goodness. Carlton Jr. to me, Dollar 30 says, This twist is so bad, I actually quit the game mid trial and didn't finish it for months. It's a cop out, in my opinion, to say it's all fake and build everything all up for nothing. All right. <laughs> so the, the flashback lights giving you fake memories, plus a person who can look like anyone they want. Essentially gives you ultimate power to do anything you want and fool anyone. Yeah, it's pretty much ultimate plot device, ultimate plot armor, right? Like you do whatever you want. It does. Every, there's no. You don't need actual factual justification for anything because anyone could have been anyone at any time, and anything you remember could have been fake anyway. There you go. <clears throat> this is the talent of the ultimate cosplayer. Shit. <laughs> How can she cosplay as students of Hope's Peak Academy? Because Sumugi told us... She can't cosplay as real people. That's what cosplay is supposed to be in the first place. Ladies of people prefer to cosplay as non-fictional characters, which is unforgivable. It's unforgivable I bring on Cospox when I attempt it. Ah, you remembered! Yes, that's exactly right! What does this mean? Oh my god, Makoto, the main character of the first game. What? If what I said was the truth, then Hope's Peak Academy was... What Hope's Peak Academy was? If Shibuya could cosplay, then there's only one possibility. It was, it was fictional. It never existed because it was a video game. Yeah, I told you. What I... Now remember. It's fictional. It's all fictional? Last stream. I said the game's gonna jump the shark and it's gonna claim that the whole thing is a video game. The whole thing's fake, right? I said that last stream. Now, I said that would apply to them. I think the game is actually rolling it back and saying, oh no, that applies to the first two. The first two games never really happened 
and they're only a part of the plot of this game, but aren't real occurrences in this war game world. I think that's what they're saying. <clears throat> Fictional? The biggest, most awful, most tragic event in human history never happened. Yeah, here's he's the uh, other main character, well, one of the main characters of the first game. Hope's Peak, the future foundation, and the remnants of despair do not exist. <laughs> because it's all fiction. None of it actually happened in the real world. All of those events took place within a fictional world known as Danganronpa. Danganronpa! <laughs> it's, it's breaking the fourth wall. It's, compl it's completely lame. Danganronpa? Yeah. What? What are you even talking about? Oh, the original theme? Yeah, it's the original theme. They start playing the original Dongarampa theme. Ha <laughs> ha the first game. Alright, the cool thing is, it actually is playing the music for the first game. I like that. I actually like that. But it's a lame twist, but it's actually cool that they have these references to the first game. Super Bat Cat to me, $7.55. What's up, Super Bat Cat? He says, How did Ask the King go? I would argue it went pretty well. I would argue it went better than I thought the show was going to. And you can check that out over on the King of Hate Vlogs whenever you get a chance. It's live right now. All right, thank you. Okay. What? You've never heard of Danganronpa? Oh my god. Characters in it. It's it's all the characters of the first two games. They're all showing up now. That's right. Me, that nasty pig bark, and everyone else are all fictional. <laughs> Hold on. Then Hope's Peak Academy doesn't exist. Nope, because it's fiction. Doesn't exist in the real world. What? Isn't that surprising? Yeah, up till now you thought fiction was fact. Fiction is just fiction. <laughs> Duncan Rumpa's just fiction. So essentially what they're saying is the plot of the original Duncan Rumpa games ended at the end of 2 or Ultimate Despair Girls or whatever. This game is a new standalone game even though it involves characters and things from the past it's all they're fooled into thinking that it's real when in reality it was fictional stuff almost like their world is real like ours right it would be like if, if i was brainwashed to think that Danganronpa really happened and was real and all of a sudden i find out no it's just a video game you played that's basically what's happening to them right now i see this whole Danganronpa story was just stuffed into your memories <laughs> for that reason you all believed that work of fiction was, in fact, reality. And that's how we put on a cosplay performance for everyone to see. Oh my, they really bring back every character just for one line, aren't they? A cosplay performance of the whole wide dog and romp on world! Cosplay? <laughs> the whole wide world? <laughs> so, this was all fake? Everything was made up? Whole time, we thought it was real. Did you think the ultimate cosplayer's talent was only limited to characters? <laughs> the Red Gamer Seven just did a super chat and says this would actually be a fun twist if this game is meant to be the final game in the franchise. But if they end up making a fourth game, then it's not great. I mean, what they're doing is they're basically telling you now that, like, when you play these games, you just can't trust logic at all. They can just do anything they want with with any kind of rationale. And you know what I mean? It's kind of like comic books. I hate to say it. Comic books are always the ultimate bullshit because comic books will establish rules. Oh, this superhero is immune to everything except this one thing, and that's the superhero's weakness. But then you find out years later, oh, they actually had another secret weakness. Or, oh, there's a reason why the superhero is now immune to what used to kill them. Oh, the superhero's dead, but they're really not. They come back. It's, it's the same thing. And the, the reason that that's kind of lame is because when you have a game that's a murder mystery or a game where you're meant to deduct things via logic and facts, if the game's saying, oh, well, guess what? At any moment, logic and facts doesn't apply anymore because we rewrote the rules of our universe, then you can't ever solve anything. You know what I'm saying? Like, the first murder in this game I knew was bullshit. I used logic and facts to say, there's no way that could have happened that way, and that's why I hated the first murder. But essentially what they're doing with this game is saying at any point we'll just rewrite the rules and say that this is true, this isn't true. Oh, you've been fooled for fucking three games, you know? So I understand why people kind of are mad at this. I can understand that, especially if you were really, like, into the series. 
and you really enjoyed it a lot. And now they're basically saying, well, fuck you, we'll do whatever we want, and there's no way you'll ever figure shit out. I can understand why you'd be a little pissed off at that. It'd be kind of lame if that was all the big bad mastermind could do. Now look, that's the original Junko, isn't it? That was before she was revealed to even be the, uh... The, the, one of the Despair Girls, right? That was supposed to be the original character right there. I can do far more than that! I can cosplay the world itself! What the fuck does that even mean? So if you want to make me your enemy... Then your enemy is the world of Danganronpa itself! Danganronpa itself? But... why? Why would you do this? Why make us think it's real? Well, duh! It's so you'd all play the killing game. This is the world of Danganronpa, you know? No shit we're playing the killing game. It's not just any killing game. Oh my god. Nagito too. It's a killing game that takes place in the real world. Propped up by fiction. Huh. <laughs> in other words, it's ultimate real fiction! Yes, I remember. Junko did have multiple personalities at the end of the first game. I remember, remember, even in this one, she was showing her with the glasses and everything. I remember that she had different personalities. She switched between. Real fiction? <laughs> but if it's fiction... Oh, my God. If everything isn't real... This is ridiculous. Uh, Carlton Jr. did a $4.20 tip. He says, This twist is a complete spit in the face to people who have been fans of the series to this point and ruin ruined any anticipation for any future games because the world is established as fake and bullshit. It's like a TV series with no real ending. Yeah, I mean, and again, if the whole world is bull... What's to say, okay, in the next game, right? The next game is a direct sequel to 3 and has references to 3 and then all of a sudden they were like, Oh, guess what? 3 wasn't real either. <laughs> like, well, then why did I play 3? I understand what you're saying. You're investing time and effort into something, expecting a definitive logical outcome, and instead the game says, here's just a bunch of horseshit at the end just to end it. It doesn't matter everything that you've been taught up to now. Like I said, it's like a comic book that you you are adhering to the rules of the storyline the whole time. All of a sudden, last minute, just break all the rules so we can do whatever we want to end it, right? I understand. That's very, very frustrating. I hear, I hear that. I totally hear that. And the other thing is, like, why do you want to invest time in something if ultimately you know it's disposable anyway like for example imagine if when you were playing the uncharted series every series said oh the last game didn't happen and we're doing something different now we're like huh no the reason that uncharted works as a series is because you've got character development over time of these set characters that grow and you like them over the course of the four games if this game like every time we can just throw everything away and start over and say the last one was fake it's kind of like scooby-doo it's like it's like a, it's like watching a childhood cartoon where you don't have to watch every episode because no matter what happened in the last episode, it reset back to zero anyway, so it didn't even matter. It's like you watched that episode, I hope you enjoyed it, but it didn't matter if you watched it or not. This episode is its own standalone thing, you see? Same thing here. It's right, it's the same premise. Even though if you knew the previous two Danganronpa game, you get more out of this one. But even if you didn't play them, it doesn't matter because this game's saying they didn't happen anyway. You didn't need to know shit. So I, I, now I get it. I understand what you guys are saying. Cool. Then, the world being in ruins is also fiction, right? The world outside Bleh. is fine, right? They're gonna say no, because they're probably gonna fuck with them, but who knows? You can't trust anything this girl is telling you now, at all. It could all be lies. That's right, of course! <laughs> How did you like that scene? Our staff worked very hard on it. Staff? Staff, because it's a show. There's no need to worry about the people backstage. <laughs> anyway, back to our conversation. You guys can just relax. See? Diocletian just tipped $10, and ladies and gentlemen, thank you to Diocletian tipping that $10. That allows us, it pushes us to the vest reward for the stream, which is excellent, because essentially we're about halfway through the stream right now. That's the perfect time for that to hit, because now we can run the poll to determine what vest I will wear tonight. Let's do that right now, actually, before we progress. Oh, Mr. Minecraft just wanted another doctor. He said two things, the spare girls took place in between one and two, and the ending makes me want to cut off my, this ending makes me cut off my ears and plug out my eyes. Please don't do that. That would be bad if you did that. I don't feel like a game is worth it to be ripping off body parts as a result. I mean, I played The Last of Us Part Two, and I really 
I wanted to jump out the window the whole time, but I didn't. I, I resisted the urge. I totally understand what you're saying, that it made you want to hurt yourself, but please don't. Please resist. Okay. Which vest is a bad plot twist vest? <laughs> so we'll have red, blue, uh, denim, and camo tonight. Those will be the four options. Cool. Let's run the poll, and we'll see what happens, and then we'll continue. Cool.